Okay, so the Packers defeat the Vikings 24 to 21 in their stadium. Packers definitely couldn't afford to drop a loss here. I mean, especially when looking at the game next week. But with that being said, now we're on top of the NFC North as the Lions just lost and fell to the Patriots pretty badly. Got their asses kicked 34 to, uh, 34 to 9, I believe. <clears throat> so yeah, fuck the Lions like I always say in every single one of my recaps. Now as far as our game goes, I thought the Vikings defense played pretty well against us, man. I mean, Aaron had an okay, I mean, had an okay game, but that's about it. We never got the big play downfield, unfortunately, so I got to give the Vikings D a lot of credit on that. Um, a lot of the passes were pretty short, dink and dunks um, to, you know, Eddie Lacy or Joy Nelson to the outside real quickly. So, you know, we just, we never really moved, we never really got the big play, you know. The Vikings pretty much took care of that with the way their defense was playing. So you got to give them credit on that, you know. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I know a lot of people will probably just say, oh, the Packers are only good at home. And it's like, it's more to it than that, okay? All the Packers' toughest games this season were all on the road. They had to go to Seattle, to Detroit, to Miami. Teams were really good defenses. The first game we played almost flawless was at Chicago. And obviously, their D sucks. Now, you want to count the Vikings' D that's kind of like in the middle of the pack. They're not the greatest defenses, but the defense, but they're not bad either. So not to mention, so so you so you so you got that. <clears throat> we play some pretty good defensive teams all on the road, you know. And as far as the Saints is concerned, like I said, after that game, when I made my video about the Saints game, it shouldn't have been a blowout. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers threw a 400 yards. Okay, those costly turnovers is what killed us, and and what allowed the Saints to pull away eventually. So I just think the whole we're only good at home crap that's starting to uh, pick up is it, it, complete BS. And you're not looking at the whole story in my opinion. <clears throat> but anyway, the game ball should go to Eddie Lacy for putting the game away. He ran well today and it's his second game of the season with over 100 yards. Both of which were against the Vikings surprisingly enough. Um, I was really getting tired of the poor uh, toss plays to the outside. Like, I really was about to rage. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm screaming at the TV like, Mike, stop calling the tall toss plays. They're not working. The, the run to the outside is just not there. They were closing in. The Vikings were closing in and just wasn't having it, okay? You got a big running back in Eddie Lacy. Get him that ball and let him pound it up the middle. You know, the, just, just these quick toss plays to the outside that just wasn't working. And it really was just driving me crazy. Well, how many times, Mike... Called a, a, a toss play to the outside. It was driving me nuts, man. It was dry. It was it, okay. I'm sorry. It was driving me crazy. I'm just like Eddie Lacy is running the ball well when he gets the ball straight and and lets him and just lets him go straight north, run up the middle, you know, jump bouncing out to the outside and stuff like that. Just you know, it just wasn't working, man. And I was and it should just should have just left those calls alone. And you see on the last drive when we put it away, that was the case. <clears throat> wow, just anyway. As far as our defense is concerned, I thought they played pretty medi mediocre this time. You know, I wasn't really impressed by anybody on the D. The pass rush I thought was was just poor. Those guys consistently rushed on the outside with no one in the middle to c to contain Bridgewater in the pocket. The guys are, the guys are scrambling quarterback. I mean, maybe not maybe not all completely because he didn't, he didn't always look to run the ball that much. But still, he was able to step up almost every time he dropped back the pass and evade the, the pressure pretty easily. So I thought the pass rush was horrible in this game. I'm not I'm not sure if anybody else is, will agree with me, but I just I really thought the pass rush was horrible. Okay, there was there was way too many guys blitzing from the outside and nobody was in the middle containing Bridgewater whatsoever. None. Every time, every time, every time he dropped like a pass, he had complete room to step up and take off if he wanted to. If he wanted to. In the meantime, he had plenty of time to sit in that pocket and look for his open receiver. And and, and on top of that, the guy's accuracy is just really all over the place. Like, Bridgewater definitely needs to work on his accuracy. It was just all over the place, man. Um, And, and you look at a couple of those throws that he missed. 
that would have either gave the uh, the Vikings g uh, good position to get a touchdown. Yeah, who knows how this game could have really turned out, man. So, overall, I just think the Packers just escaped with a victory today. We leaned on Lacey to put the game away at the end, obviously. So, thumbs down to defense. You know, those guys didn't really play that good. Yeah, we got that turnover. But, again, that was just mainly just all with Bridgewater's uh, inconsistent play sometimes. And his, and, his, and his poor accuracy and choices he makes. So... Yeah, I'm, so yeah, again, I just wasn't impressed by anybody on defense. Um, but now, next week, we got our toughest game yet, and that's against the Patriots, who, again, just destroyed the Lions. Um, these guys better show up to play next week, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, and I'm mainly talking to the defense. These guys better show up to play next week. If they play like they play today, Tom Brady is going to pick us apart. All right, he's going to kill us. Okay. So we can't. So we can't afford to have these guys playing like this again next week. They better uh, bring it next week. Bring it, and the offense is gonna have to do what they gotta do to, to get that ball in the end zone. All right, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long day next week in Lambeau. Until then, I'm out. Peace.